So Paul Blair from Oakley Motorcycles has just invited me to come along with him on a really exciting road trip. We're riding two zero electric motorcycles from John O'Groats to Land's End to raise money for Mind and to celebrate Oakley Motorcycles becoming a zero dealership. We're going to ride approximately a thousand miles in four days, camping, finding charge points and having a good ride. Our bikes are zero SRSs, equivalent to a thousand cc petrol bike. And Suzanne will be following us in a Range Rover as support and backup if we need it. Follow us as we take the electric road to Land's End. What we got here is a Zero ZRF. This is probably one of the top of the range machines that uh, you can buy from Zero. We're going to be doing probably over a thousand miles, mainly on the A roads, from John O'Groats all the way down to Land's End. We're looking at stopping roughly every hundred miles just for a little bit of a top up on the charge, maybe have a rest, get something to eat. But these will probably do somewhere between 120 and 140 if we drive in eco mode. It's hopefully it's a five day trip if we can make it in those five days. But I've got to say, really, really looking forward to it. Now, one of the things being a, a conventional bike rider for me is the fact that an electric bike doesn't have any gears or a clutch. So I'm kind of interested to see how I'm going to react to that. What we want to do is put ourselves on the map as being an electric bike dealer and it's very difficult to talk to people and to influence and to consider these machines if we haven't experienced it ourselves. Another reason we're doing it is a fantastic reason we're going to raise money and awareness for MIND, the mental health charity um, would like to try and do that. We also get a chance as I said to, to have fun and, uh, and get a break away from work and the three of us riding down with, uh, with our support driver Suzanne is going to be uh, following us and just have a great week on the bikes. So we're going to actually start the journey in a van from Maidstone and from Maidstone on Friday we'll leave and we'll go up to Dumfries and then that kind of gives us a launch point to go from Dumfries to uh, John O'Groats, uh, to the campsite at John O'Groats on by the end of the day on the 10th of July. And then on Sunday the 11th we will get up quite early and we'll start going down towards Edinburgh. Then the following day, Monday, another again, another early start, uh, July the 12th, we go from Edinburgh to Nottingham. Then on Tuesday, the 13th of July, we go from Nottingham to Oak Hill, which is near the Mendip Hills. We're staying then at the Oak Hill camping caravanning um, site there. And then the last leg uh, on, the, on Wednesday the 14th, that's assuming that we're on time and on schedule and have no major issues in terms of charging or all of us being able to charge. We are heading towards Land's End and we're at Land's End right at the tip there, Land's End Caravan and Camping Park. So that's our trip. What's great about these helmets is there's actually slots and locations for the microphone. Oh, okay. all right. Not only have we been lucky enough to be loaned two Zero SRSs, but the motorcycle clothing company, LS2, have donated helmets, winter jackets and gloves to us. It feels lovely on, I have to say. Yeah, they're nice and lightweight. I, I find very comfortable, very light. It's not pinching at the front. Mm -hmm. You haven't got too much pressure on your cheeks. It seems, seems fine. Very, very comfortable. Gloves? So they're the Jet 2s, so they're for your uh, waterproof. If you wanted a lightweight summer glove, what do you reckon those? This is what I've been wearing uh, during the summer. From Jacket's uh, point of view, Phil, you're going with that one, yeah? Yeah, endurance. So it's an all year round jacket, basically. So you've got all the liners, everything inside. The one that I've ordered is this, is this the one. The Nevada, right? yeah. Um, Again, and same. Is that the same thing? Same thing, yeah. If that goes like that, I'll still be able to get We're also installing Senna intercoms to our helmets so we can chat to each other whilst we're riding. This. So let's just pop out the back here so we can just remove the lining. Put one of those in there. And conveniently, what they will have done, he says, hopefully, <laughs> is left one wire slightly shorter than the other so we know which side we need to connect. To which? <laughs> to which, yeah. So when you fitted yours, had you fitted one before to nope. anyone else's helmet? No, nope, never. So it was a big it was a, learning curve. It was a massive learning curve. I should have done Paul's first. 
run this cable down, plug that into there. What do we do on those? All complicated stuff. Oh. So the bikes have arrived from zero. Here they are. Come and have a look round. They are um, SRS, which is the fully fared version. Equivalent probably to around about a thousand cc petrol bike. Probably going to get somewhere around 120 to 140 miles, depending on how we're riding. Very confident with these things. We know they charge quickly. Weather forecast isn't looking brilliant, so we're quite pleased to have heated grips as part of the premium bike. Uh, that's going to be essential, especially if you've got wet fingers. This is uh, fitted with uh, a charge tank, so it will charge significantly quicker. So there isn't a lot of room under there like you get with the other one, but this, this is a fast charger, so we will get charging in this, um, the right charging point, under two hours. And then, just when everything was coming together nicely, we had our first setback. Two days before our departure, Phil had some bad news. Uh, so the advice is to ice it lots and rest it lots and definitely not spend a week riding a motorbike. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to um, pull out of the trip. So I've just been told um, I'm not going to be going to on the trip to uh, John O'Groats uh, to travel down to Land's End. Um, I'm absolutely gutted. Um, it's my own fault. Um, it's an injury I've picked up playing basketball. I've managed to partially rupture uh, my patella tendon. Really sad news because I know that Phil was really keen to uh, to come along but also at the same time you know three is would make a, an interesting journey. I put so much work into this trip and to be told two days before that you can't go is absolutely uh, well just, just I'm distraught it's, it's awful. Um, so uh, you know I wish the other two all the luck with the journey um, and fingers crossed I can take part in the next one. So minus Phil, we load the bikes onto the trailer and we set off for our quick drive to Scotland. So we've arrived at McMurderson House here in Dumfries. This is our first stop on the way up to John O'Groats. Nice, easy journey to be fair. No problems with the traffic. Straight up here, only a couple of small stops for us. If you're looking for somewhere nice and peaceful and relaxing to come and stay, this place is amazing. The scenery is superb. Uh, Steve and Sarah, very friendly, very welcoming. Tomorrow morning, packing up and back in the car to head to John O'Groats and then setting up for the journey back. We've arrived at John O'Groats, beautiful place, even with the, the dark grey clouds that you can probably see in the background, there's the sea, that is Land's End. And we are pitching up here right on the end. It's going to be great. Get a nice uh, rest, hacks and uh, Suzanne have gone off to get some uh, dinner, some fish and chips. Set up the tents, get the kit set up, get the helmets set up and the communication, the comms units. And then once that's done, uh, early night because we're up to start the ride back down to Land's End. Just got up and it's all foggy. Good morning. Let's pack it up. Our bubble was about to burst. 